Okay, uh, 10 sets of questions on indices worked exam questions. Uh, I think that these are all non calculated questions and uh, I'm going to be using a number of rules um, which I'll explain as we go along. Uh, 56 to the power of 1 is just 56, anything to the power of 1 is itself. 56 to the power of 0 is just 1, everything to the power of 0 is 1. So that's two rules we need to know. So the answer is 55. Explain why 23 to the third is 3. Well, 27 to the third, the power of third is the cube root of 27, which means the number that times by itself um, 3 times equals 27. So the cube root 27 is 3. Um, right, 27 to the minus one third is a fraction. So this is the same question before, but you've got now a negative power. Now this doesn't mean that the answer is going to be negative. Negative powers, anything to the power of minus something, is equal to one over. The minus means one over what's left. So at x to the power of minus a would be one over x to the power of a. So we've got. Um, 27 to the power of minus one third is 1 over 27 to the power of a third. Now we already know 27 to the power of third is 3, so that's just 1 over 3, or 1 third. 64 to the power of 2 thirds. Very common type of high level question this, and it all boils down to breaking this power up into two parts. So 64 to the power of 2 thirds could be written as 64 to the power of a third, and then that's squared because when you're combining powers of powers, so power of a third and then squared, you just times these two powers, so you end up with two thirds, because two lots of one third is two thirds. So we can use that to break it up into um, a root and then a, then, a, then a power. So 64 to the third is the cube root of 64, and the cube root of 64 is 4. And then we're going to square it to get 16. You can do it the other way around, you can square it and then cube root it, but 64 squared is quite a big number, not very often that's very useful. Usually we do the root before we um, do the power. Okay, final solution to this equation. Um, this, when you've got powers like this, where you've got 8 to the power of something and 2 to the power of something, it's usually best to write everything in terms of the smaller number. So 8 is actually 2 cubed. So if I replace the 8 with 2 cubed, so we've got 2 cubed to the power of m equals 2 to the power of m squared. Okay, now the rule is for powers of powers is we multiply the power, so 2 to the, two to the power of 3 to the power of m is actually 2 to the power of 3m, and this is 2 to the power of m squared is, is 2 to the power of 2m, we just times these two so that means that 3m equals 2m, um, and if we take away 2m from both sides, we end up with m equals 0. Um, that is the only solution to this equation. Show clearly that, so we ignore this, and we just um, look at this, 4 to the power of 3 over 2 is 4 to the power of a half, so we do the fraction and then we cube it. 4 to the power of a half is 2 and then 2 cubed is 8. Okay, I'm going to show you how to do this second part um, by using this and then by not using it. So let's let's use it. So we know that 4 to the power of 3 over 2 equals 8. So if I want to know what I do it with 8 to the power of 6, I'm going to do this to the power of 6, I'm going to do this to the power of 6. So 8 to the power of 6 is 4 to the power of 3 over 2 to the power of 6, which is a power of a power, we just times the power, so we get 18 over 2, and that's 4 to the power of 9, so that equals 8 to the power of 6, so the value of y is 9. Um, we could do it another way if we think about uh, 8 being 2 to the power of stuff, so 4 to the power of y equals 2 to the power of 3 to the power of 6, because 8 is 2 cubed, so that's 2 to the power of 18. Um, 
4 to the power of y um, is 2 squared to the power of y and 2 squared to the power of y is 2 to the 2y and that's 2 to the 18 so that implies 2y equals 18 so y equals 9 anything to the power of 0 is 1 nice easy mark if you see it um, second bit we've got 7 to the power of 18 divided by this the second bit 7 to the power of 18 divided by 7 cubed squared which is the power of a power which is 3 times 2 which is 6 and then when we divide powers we subtract the indices so you've got 7 to the power of 18 minus 6 which is 7 to the power of 12 so the answer is 7 to the power of 12 Okay, patient has a disease, 4 to the power of 3 uh, cells on day 1, so 4 cubed. Um, we could work out 4 cubed is 64 and then try to figure out what power 2 that is um, to do the rest of this question. But if we replace 4 with 2 squared and then cube that, we get 2 to the power of 6 because we do the power of the power is the time of the indices, so 2 to the power of 6. So 4 cubed is 2 to the power of 6. How many times do we have to double that to get to 2 to the power of 10 to make it serious? So, if we times by, uh, if we do 2 to the power of 6 times 2, that's 2 to the power of 7. Then 2 to the 7 power times 2 is 2 to the power of 8, and so on. 2 to the power of 9, 2 to the power of 10, we'd have done it 4 times, so 4 days. Okay, 10 to the minus 2 times 64 to the half. 10 to the minus 2. Uh, 10 to the minus 2 is the minus means 1 over 10 squared. So you just do without the minus, the minus means 1 over, and you just write what's left underneath. Um, 64 to the power of a half is the square root of 64. 10 over, 1 over t uh, 10 squared is 1 hundredth times that by the square root of 64 which is 8 and 8 lots of a hundredth is 8 hundredths and that would simplify down it doesn't actually ask you to simplify it but um, if we divide by 4 we get 2 over 25 we could write it as a decimal as well 8 not point zero 0.08 either would be fine write down the square of the cube root of x using index notation so the cube root is x to the one third and the square of that is that and when we combine the powers we do two times one third which is two thirds if x equals eight what is the value of the square of the cube root of x so eight to the power of two thirds well basically just break it down into that so eight to the third or the cube root of eight squared cube root of 8 is 2 and 2 squared is 4 9 to the minus 3 over 2 3 mark question you pretty much always get a mark for rewriting it without the minus sign so the minus sign means 1 over 9 to the 3 over 2 I would then take the 9 to 3 over 2 and work that out and then put 1 over it at the end so 9 to 3 over 2 is 9 to the half cubed because 3 lots of a half is 3 over 2. 9 to the half is the square root of 9 which is 3. So that gives me 3 cubed and 3 cubed is 27. So we've got 1 over 27. 27 to the minus 2 over 3. Again 1 over 27 to the 2 thirds. The minus means 1 over what's left. Uh, 27 to the 2 thirds is 27 to the one third squared which is the cube root of 27 which is 3 squared which is 9 and we've got 1 over that so that's 1 over 9 explain why 25 to the power of 4 is 5 to the power of 8 well 25 equals 5 squared so 25 that tells me 25 to the power of 4 equals 5 squared to the power of 4 and that means 5 to the power of 2 times 4 which is 5 to the power of 8 uh, 4 to the power of minus 1 the minus means 1 over 4 to the power of 1 and 4 to the power of 1 is 4 
um, 8 to the 4 over 3 so that's 8 to the power of 1 third times 4 4 lots of 1 third is 4 thirds 8 to the power of 1 third is the cube root of 8 which is 2 and that's to the power of 4 and 2 to the power of 4 is going to be 2 times 2 which is 4 times 2 is 8 times 2 is 16